Hi, everybody. It's Dara, and this is like the old days for real. I literally just got inspiration to turn the camera on, and then I realized that it is Tuesday, which I had been promising to make Tuesday videos um, I'm a little bit early, and over the past number of weeks, I have been traveling. I went to Mendocino. I got a vehicle, got a call to visit a friend, and drove up there where there is no cell service. It is not happening, and so I'm sorry I haven't been regular here, but I'm here now, and happy, happy new year. Um, it's going to be a good one. We're all going to get aligned. We are aligned. Our desires are matching what we're doing. We are in integrity. We are in authenticity with who we are and who we came to be. We are north noting, meaning we're following our north node dharma. We're doing little things daily to activate our soul's wish and our joy and our life direction. And if you want to know what that is, go to my website and look up uh, the North Nodes. You can look yours up for free to find out your North Node just from your birthday. And then you can find out the house placement. I show you how to look it up and you can know what house your North Node falls into, which tells you what arena you're supposed to be your North Node self. We've got Veronica and Kedra and Clarissa and Elaine. Hello, everybody. So I'm really just deciding. The camera angle looks a little weird, doesn't it? It's like a little, I have to fix it. I'm deciding. Uh, I know I'm making quinoa. I did that. And oh, let's see. I, oops, <laughs> I don't know if that's going to help. Let's see. I might, cut up, I might have cut off my head. But in the rice cooker, in my, it's called a neuro fuzzy rice cooker. It's made in Japan and it is my tried and true rice cooker and I'm going to be making uh, quinoa in it. I am making quinoa. I got Bob's Red Mill quinoa. And um, yeah, that's what's happening here. Capricorn North Hill, woohoo. Yeah, I can be an expander because I'm a Capricorn and I will not stop till I get to the top. I will persevere. <laughs> I don't give up. I am soaking almonds for my, every other day I make fresh almond milk in my almond cow. You can make it in a blender and then use a nut milk bag. I'm sure I have many videos here on how to make your own almond milk, almond pecan, almond walnut, walnut pecan, walnut cashew. So many combinations. Hemp milk, you don't even need to strain it. Um, we don't need to buy boxed. We don't need to waste the packaging. We don't need to have the carrageenan or whatever additives they have to make it fatty and frothy and emulsified. Um, fresh is best using spring water like I do. I am noticing such a difference. I've been home from my trip for just a number of days, not long, and I already feel my countenance is better because this is the first time I went away and stayed in a hotel where I didn't have a kitchen and it was really challenging for me, um, I must say. So I am so happy to be home and in my kitchen. And every morning I make the chai um, with fresh almond milk. And the fresh almond milk is made with spring water and maple syrup and a pinch of salt and vanilla. Then I make the chai recipe that's in my Doobies Do the Holidays ebook, which is literally changed my life. I think I have less inflammation because of it. I use fresh ginger and sometimes I use fresh turmeric. And uh, when I was away, I had gluten, I had bread and I have like a hip flare up. My hip starts to hurt after I walk too much. And I noticed it was really terrible when I came back from my trip. And now after my alkaline diet for a number of days, it doesn't hurt as much nearly at all. And I know it's going to be fine. So consider an anti-inflammatory, meaning no gluten and things that cause inflammation, and um, an alkaline diet, which is a whole lot of these. So we're going to be having collars. When I was away in the hotel room, I did, one night I got hummus and a little bit of nut butter, and I, I'm going to show you how to rib, de-rib the collar so it makes it easy to roll, and um, tomatoes and we had these wraps. I think it was New Year's Eve. We had collared wraps and it was really exciting. So I'm just going to cut the ends off, give them a rinse. And we're going to, I'm going to show you how to rib them, de-rib them. If you haven't been with me for a hundred years or you missed that video that I did it in, because I'm sure I've done it many times. These are good to save. 
I will be saving these for a soup or a smoothie. We don't need to waste it. We don't need to waste good organic uh, produce. You can juice it if you're juicing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the ends off and wash all of these. And even though I might only eat two, maybe my daughter will eat one, um, but I will be able to have them fresh and ready to go. So this is like a tortilla. This is gonna be our tortilla for the night. And I could do hummus, quinoa, or nut butter, quinoa, chopped onions, chopped tomato, um, it would be so lovely in, in here. You could do so many different things. You do want something a little fatty to, um, well, that's gonna be a problem. That's kind of loud, isn't it? Let me quit the messages. Oh, I was just sharing with a woman, a friend, Cassandra, what to take. I have this little supplement that when I was away, I don't sleep so well, so I got this natural sublingual sleep like. What is it called? Let me tell you, because somebody might need it. It's literally called Super Slumber Helper. A little bit under your tongue and you sleep like a baby. I can feel myself getting woozy. I read at night before I go to bed. Isn't this fun? This is just really lovely. So do you want me to de-rib them first or wash them? What am I gonna show you? So you put it down um, and you maybe want to put it away from you or cut however is makes it that you're not going to cut yourself. I think I will take a little ceramic knife and you just take it. And the idea is you want to make this piece that's so thick and will crunch if you go to bend it. It won't allow you to roll it, roll the leaf, which we want. So when you, if you can see me doing it, I think you can. It's funny, I first learned how to do this at Living Light Culinary Arts Institute, and I hadn't made these in a, a long time. And then when you know it, it came to my awareness again when I was in Fort Bragg, where I went to Living Light, where I went to culinary arts school. So look how beautiful that's going to be. And you could fill it up with so many different things. You could put rice in it. You could keep it all raw, chopped cucumbers. You could put some raisins or cranberries, some avocado. Um, you can really just have so much fun with a wrap. Any kind of like walnut meat. You could um, food process walnuts with garlic and sage and have a little taco, a walnut meat taco. I'm sure I've done that. So does anybody have any questions so far? Alrance. I always keep uh, this, this is pretty much in the sink always. I have this on my website. I do not know if they make them anymore. It's called Art Cook or R-A-R plus Cook. It's not a great logo, Art Cook. And I don't know if they have them anymore. And my bigger one, and I have a feeling why, I know why, because this part under here on my other one got kind of like black. It looked like it had moldy or something. So maybe they have a design problem. But in any case, whatever you wash your veggies in, uh, do with that. Keep it handy. Keep, keep your stuff handy that you want to uh, always have. And we're soaking kidney beans overnight. Not raw, but we're doing raw fusion. So I could also steam asparagus and I can go inside or to the side. Chopped apple. I love having oranges at night, like having an orange when I'm reading a book. This is Cara Cara orange and they're delicious. Bananas and blueberries in the morning. All right, they're still going. I tried to quit it and they're still gonna be dinging. Oh well. So now what, you guys, we're waiting for the quinoa. We're gonna put this in a bowl. Let's discuss what's going in the collard leaf. How about that? So, a nut butter. Tahini, that's good. Tahini's what I want. It's been a while since I've had tahini. And, um, I 
I'm going to tell her she's in my YouTube video. Okay. Okay, nobody has any questions. Everybody's with me. Did you miss my, oh, thank you. Um, did you miss my scheduled videos? I'm still wondering um, what you guys think about them. Does it need to be scheduled? Are you here because it's Tuesday? Or are you here because you got notified? Why are you here? <laughs> Why are we here? Okay, so so far we've got we've got tahini, which is ground up sesame, which is really nice to have. The apple seems to be out, and teeny tiny chopped up apple could be really really nice. That reminds me, I used to serve this to my mom all the time, like a color drop, um, yeah, with um, tahini, uh, avocado, chopped up apple, and raisins, where seeds and fruit can go together. Nuts and fruits, they say no, it's hard to digest, different rates of digestion. Let's rinse this. We're not gonna wait for the quinoa because the quinoa can be served to my daughter later, quinoa and asparagus. I'm gonna have a collard wrap. You love the schedule, you got notified. Wow. So you get notified for my scheduled video or did you get notified because it, it was not supposed to be for another half hour? So curious. That's very sweet, Maggie and Kedra. I'm curious if you got notified because I'm on. Either way, we're together and I'm gonna try and stick to the schedule. There's no reason why I can't. I just found like, maybe I make less videos because I'm scheduled because it seems like, well, who knows? Who knows really? One never knows. I'm not the biggest schedule gal. Although now I'm doing sessions, I have to be scheduled every day. I'm doing sessions for people. You were just on YouTube and you, it showed that you were live. Okay, and you clicked to see me. So now I have this beautiful collard leaf and I think I'd like to dry it off. Pat, pat, pat it dry. Because we don't need to have uh, the moisture. Same as Maggie. So it sounds like it, it's just you got notified because I came on live and you happen to be on YouTube. So that's why. It's all things that I don't know how these all work. Other, I used to know, but things change. Everything changes as we know. So many people are calling me to help them with their astrogeography and their north nodes. And I tied the two together. Where to best be for your personal great life direction. This needs to be stirred. Aw, you got notified too? Well, this happens to be around our scheduled time anyway. And I think what I thought was each, I think I want to make a video every day this week to kick off the new year, um, to celebrate the fact that I am in my kitchen with you guys. And it just cheers me up to be with you guys. It makes me feel happy. Oh, wow, you're in Canada and you normally don't make my lives. So Natalie, maybe it's because I showed up early. You know, cranberry, I have some cranberries. That would be nice. This is very, um, need some stirring. So astrogeography is the astrology of place, otherwise called astrocartography. Lexi, oh my gosh. Lexi Love, fabulous you in New York City, yes? Oh my gosh, that's so fun. You're finally watching me live when I'm live. <laughs> Lexi, do you have any questions? I love when my Instagram family meets my YouTube family. Everybody meet Le Lexi. Lexi, she is, leggy. she is leggy too and beautiful. How fun. 
Okay, so we're making, you missed it, but I took these collard leaves, a whole bowl of collard leaves, cut the ends off, and I made it easy to roll by taking a knife and taking off um, part of the rib. So, um, you kind of, you fillet it, literally like filleting, and you just kind of go whoop and you cut it off, which you can rewind. <laughs> you can watch the beginning. So it's so great because this is our taco and we can put, we're gonna feel so healthy when we eat this and we can put anything in it. So tonight we're putting in tahini, you could put almond butter, you could put peanut butter. You're gonna, we're gonna make it a little salty, a little sweet and a little crunchy. And this is great if you are on the go. This is great for camping or in a hotel room or taking with you wherever you wanna go if you're going on a picnic. But certainly, since we're all at home home, learning how to feed ourselves healthy. Oh yes. We're gonna put um, some, I have quinoa may, being made and you could easily put some quinoa in. I'm gonna put some apples and maybe, this is not that well thought out. And honestly, really, truly, you guys, none of my meals are thought out unless somehow I get it in my head that it's going to be taco night and I'm going to make corn tortillas or I get it in my head about something. Like I sometimes I'll know that I am having mushrooms, end of story. But besides that, I let the produce decide what it is I'm going to have. So at the market, I go into Erwan and I'm like, what's speaking to me? And then I'll get those things. Like I got asparagus. So apparently my body wants asparagus. It's a diuretic that will help me lose some of the weight that happened over the trip to Mendocino where I was having bread and I felt puffy when I was done. Hi everybody. So yes, so here we go. I mean, if I just needed to curl this up with some salt, <laughs> if I needed to curl it up, that would be fine. I am going to be making you know, really, truly, you guys, I let the, I let whatever's in my kitchen inspire me. That's one of the reasons I love going through my cabinets and I love the produce when I go out to get it inspire me. So I came across a big jar of nettle tea, which is so anti-inflammatory. And now that you think about it, I said my hip was hurting. It was inflamed because I was having gluten. And since I've been home, it hurts less because my diet's more alkaline. And when you know it, intuitively, I pulled this out from my cabinet, from my shelves. And this is one of the most anti-inflammatory things you can do for yourself. Nettle tea, nettle soup. So that's happening. I'm gonna put that on the stove. Uh, let's get the cranberries and... I'm amusing myself. Seriously, you guys, I am amusing myself because this is how I used to make all my videos. All of a sudden, I'd get inspiration to turn on the camera, and then we figure it out together. This actually needs a couple more veggies. Do you know what can go in here? Cauliflower. You know, think, son, does my hip hurt from the bicycle fall? No. This has been like... Oh, I found something. I found things. I found things in my fridge. I went foraging in my refrigerator. I found arugula, which is so good for here because we have, the, I want more veggies and we have the sweet of the apple and the cranberry so we can handle the bitter of arugula. And I'm gonna need to eat some cauliflower, which always makes me happy. When in doubt, chop cauliflower, put olive oil, garlic powder, and nutritional yeast. Mix it all up and just eat that. So my hip has been hurting for a number of years and sometimes it flares and it's just painful after walking a lot and sometimes it's, I forget about it. And so I noticed that after eating a lot of gluten and not having all my greens like I normally have that it felt bad. So let's see how quickly we can make it get better. I'm all better from my bicycle accident, so thank you. Happy New Year, my loves. Happy, happy New Year, because what's happening, I will tell you from all the people who are calling me for life guidance sessions, is that um, 
I can't tell you how many people are moving and they want to know where to move to and they want to be aligned with what they came here to do. It's like startling and exciting that so many people are willing and able to make massive changes with their families, with their lover, by themselves. I did a session for a beautiful woman who I was like, oh, I got to tell her that one of her best places in the world is the Arab Emirates, is Dubai and Abu Dhabi. And I was like, you didn't ask about this place. And, you know, she kind of asked about the U.S. for astrogeography. I said, but I've got to tell you that Dubai would be outstanding. And she said, oh, my goodness, I went to Dubai for four days with a boyfriend, an ex-boyfriend. He was on some kind of mission to go there for four days. And when she got there and I told her it was like a Jupiter midheaven and sun midheaven, it was like extraordinary for her career. She said she got recognized. She's a model. And they asked her to stay for two months, please, to work. And so she's going to be going back there. Yeah. Hello, darling Cameron. You move too. Think, son. People are moving and they're changing. Um, we could put some cauliflower, but we can also dress the cauliflower. And I really feel sad for the cauliflower when it's plain. I think it needs, I think it needs to be dressed and maybe it's going to be on the side. Lucy. Is that Lucy S? Hi. Um, oh, I see a question coming in. I'm going to make more of this because uh, my daughter's coming over. That sounds too complicated to answer now. Maybe you'll send an email if you want to ask me a question. Um, that's going to confuse some people. Um, Alexand Alexander moved to Virginia. Did you move to Alexandria? <laughs> happy, happy, you guys. Let's, we're, this is the year we are really going to, um, anything that doesn't belong just becomes untenable, whether it's people, places, or things, and we find the people and the right thing to be doing as long as we have a willingness, and that's what I feel in the air. People just have a willingness to make a change. And I want you to know that not everybody's happy all the time, not even me. <laughs> so I want you to know that when I am unhappy, what do I do? You know, there's things that we can all do. We're going to put in some nutrition. I, I play with food. I eat raw. I have some juices. I make a chai. I make a tonic uh, 100%. I take a bath. Um, I make a video. So don't feel bad if everybody else seems cheery and you're not, or sometimes it helps to just um, tap into someone who's authentic, authentically cheery and uplifting, not necessarily someone who is, I'm putting olive oil, nutritional yeast, and salt, a little garlic powder, and then the cauliflower will go in. Uh, but if you're feeling bad, feel bad. Turmeric also turns it yellow, which is kind of nice and fun. Um, my garlic powder. Bath. Bath does, ooh, that's a lot of garlic. Baths cheer me, and, um, you know, usually it's a one-bath kind of day. It's a, if it's a hard day, it's a two-bath kind of day. If it's a three-bath kind of day, you know that there's a problem. <laughs> Aw. Thank you for thanking me for my inspiration. Nope, the time is wrong and the date is wrong. That's really cute. Um, I never post my uh, birth information. Or you could you could be very clever, I guess, and figure it out. That's interesting. Um, Hawaii is nice for me. You want to know where not is? I've had, do you want to hear my worst astrogeography experience? And I didn't, when I realized it, looking, looking back, when you know your astrogeography, and I have a course you can take to do it yourself, I also put it into bite-sized pieces. So I show you how to look up your astrogeography for free. And then you can 
if you find out you, you are near a Saturn and Jupiter line, you can get those two videos and learn about where you are. Um, or you can do the whole thing. So you're on a Neptune line. Neptune's tricky <laughs> for me because I cross-reference um, the natal chart when I do people's astrogeography. And on a Neptune line, it trips me up a bit because I have Neptune in the third house. So um, it trips me up extra special. <laughs> but some people are really good with Neptune. Maybe somebody has a Pisces North Node or they have North Node in the 12th house and they need some Neptune energy to pull them into their soul's evolution. So if you're interested or you're a practitioner of any kind, you will want to know everybody's north node because it's their soul's wish it's like a fast track to knowing their soul's wish and their dharma and then you'd want to and then you could check what astro geographical lines would actually pull them into that okay so now cassandra you're here i mentioned you in the beginning of the video because we were texting um that's a really good question i jumped at this moment at the bottom of this bowl, I put really good olive oil, extra virgin, cold pressed, organic olive oil. I'm using this, this divine, La Laudinio, L-A-U-D-E-M-I-O, Fresco Baldi. And then, that's why I had to tell you I was texting because you could hear the dings. Um, and then nutritional yeast in salt and garlic powder. And that's gonna be a little side dish with the quinoa that I'm making. And then it's collard wraps. So you want to go back in time and see how I made the collard wraps easy to roll. And this particular collard wrap has tahini in it. It has arugula. It has uh, cranberries, apple, and um, it could have some cauliflower. It could have some avocado. It could have any veggies you want. The, the trick is to have some sort of fat to make uh, the collard palatable. So it could be almond butter, peanut butter, nut butter, tahini, it could be guacamole, but you want something to make it. Yeah, and so this is great. This is a great thing to take with you on a picnic. I made these New Year's Eve in my hotel room and you just roll it up. There's definitely salt and there you go. You could put a cute little toothpick and make a bunch of them and you're ready to go. You could have this ready in the refrigerator. I could take a bite of it. Mmm. Cilantro would be good in here. Any herbs. It's so good. And then here's the cauliflower, which I've made a hundred zillion billion times. And it's so good. What was the yes, please? What did I ask if you wanted? Definitely going to make um, the Neville tea. It's gonna help any inflammation. So if you are having a sore hip joint or a sore something, or there's any inflammation in your body, <coughs> Neville will help. Oh, you're so cute. Let's do it privately because most people don't really want their birth information out in public. Um, but I am Virgo rising with a Cancer moon and a Capricorn sun. And you guys will know me by my Gemini Midheaven, which will be coming up because it's one of the things I really look at to help people with their life direction on the career, on the career stage. Oh, the wrap I'm making, you would like it. It's so good. I had um, today because I was like, oh, I need to get rid of any inflammation. So uh, not only did I use fresh ginger in the chai recipe, that lives in the Doobies Do the Holiday ebook, um, but I added fresh turmeric, and I really think it's helping. Maggie, uh, any inf 
inflammation, you really want to alkalize the body. So you want to eliminate the things that are acidic, coffee, alcohol, gluten inflames the body, sugars. So Cassandra, everybody follow her. Follow Premier Wellness Travel on Instagram. Beautiful, beautiful work she does. Um, so really beautiful. Um, for nettle tea, I'll do one of a couple things. Hold on. Do you know what that was? And I may be the only person you know that had a switch put on the wall to shut off my refrigerator because it gets a buzzing sound, which drives me crazy. And the refrigerator is a great refrigerator and it fits perfectly and it's not old, but it was loud at any weird given time. So, nettle, where'd you go? I buy my nettle from Frontier Co-op Organic or Mountain Rose Herbs, they are a favorite place of mine also. And then I take hot water and then I put the nettle in and let it steep. It could steep for 15 minutes, it could steep for 40. Um, not on high heat, and then I strain it, and I could make a broth. I could make it with um, salt, garlic powder, maybe a little miso, or I can add a little honey, and I can use the nettle tea as a base for one of my tonics. So there's so many things I can do with it. You can just have it just with water and just drink it like that. It's got like a grassy, not grassy, it's it leans towards savory. It, it easily leans towards savory. Hi, Ariel. You just saw I went live. You have Gemini Midheaven too. Can I chat more about it? Well, isn't that the perfect word for Gemini is chatty. The Midheaven is who we are on the world stage. And um, not only that, there's the quinoa. Um, it is, it's so, um, it's the, our legacy, it's how we'll be remembered. And I am a Gemini, so that means more than one thing going at one time, maybe two businesses. Uh, we're here to communicate and use our words. So that's what I do. Cancer Midheaven represent. So um, yeah, we can talk about the Midheaven in the future. I'm craving nettle too. And when I was in Mendocino, Matt, who's an amazing guide, and I need to still do the Mendocino medley footage. I just have footage I'm gonna to string together. And um, he's a great guide. Uh, we were going to look for stinging nettle, we did not, but we can all get nettle dried, okay? Because if you got a lot of nettle, you have to dry it anyway. Oh, you got gem. so we have some gem I made heaven in the house. Nettle helps cramps, that's good. Should we see how, um, I think I cooked it well. I don't know. I mean, maybe I could have used less water and it needs less cooking time than white rice, but let's see how it turned out. Looks good to me. Oh yes, it looks a little, yeah. There's the quinoa and you could put a little bit of this quinoa in the wrap and it will make part of it warm and a little squishy. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. So. I absolutely love you guys. How long have we been on? 33 minutes, that's respectable. I keep thinking I dropped something. This is from Infinite Love Designs. It's a crystal in a little leather satchel. Um, quinoa and sweet potato are the only cooked foods I will eat usually. They are fluffy beds of grounding and deliciousness. <laughs> yes, that's how I feel about this right now. My birthday was December 28th. Hmm. Okay, loveys. Six petal flower. <laughs> December 28th. And I'm 54. I think that's it. Let me answer. Do you guys have any questions before I hang up the phone? I feel like we're on the phone together. Thank you. It was a lovely birthday, Maggie. I was in, um, what about tomorrow, Cameron? I, um, 
was in Mendocino, in the trees, in the forest, searching for mushrooms, breathing in the most magnificent forest air. And it changed me. I could easily head back up there. Um, I spent the evening in a place overlooking the ocean. I was with friends. Um, and, it, and you're going to see some of them. I'll post them in the next video. And I need to be reminded to do it. The whole America craziness we live in. Is there something special going on tomorrow? I have not watched the news, nor do I care to. Um, the craziness, the higher picture of the craziness is I think that we, you guys and me, and anyone like us, we are meant to keep rising and keep streamlining and keep clean, clear, and brightening. <laughs> brightening. So everything, the, the, everything is on my website. The sessions that I offer and the do-it-yourself courses, if you can't get a session, um, the sessions are booked up, but there's a waiting list and I'm opening up new sessions soon. Oh yes, thank you. The DC, it's tomorrow, we're right, the huge march. I did know that. Um, I hope it's many, many people. I do. I hope that everybody can speak up. We should all always be able to speak up uncensored for what we believe. We shouldn't be taken off of YouTube or Instagram. And I do believe uh, we need to, um, I'm not aloof. I'm just not tapped into the news at the moment. Um, I do know there's a march. I couldn't get there. I cheer everybody on. <laughs> I am doing what I do best, which is creating love and joy and inspiration because we all do need to. Um, I do believe the answer is within us and nature and amongst us and our community. I do believe that the answer is love, not fear. I do believe that we are in charge of our own health, not pharma. Um, I do believe as whole and aligned as we can get, as balanced as we can get our bodies, that's how we're going to shine. And that is what we need. So I cheer everybody on, those who need to speak their truth and can do so peacefully. Yes, hallelujah. Like we, we need to do that. Um, so I'll live. No, I have thoughts and ideas, <laughs> but um, <laughs> six petal flower, you are the queen of transmutation. I, I really do move energy. It's what I do. So thank you for noticing America's future requires your gracefulness. And that is what has been decided in me, inside of me, that I am needed for what I do more than I am needed to uh, divide anybody. Um, maybe you have a proper, thank you for noticing, and Cameron, I thought aloof meant willingly not paying attention. Probably, probably, I don't know. I, we have to look up the definition of aloof. Aloof has a connotation of like um, not caring and not heart, and I am um, heart-based. So I want everybody to be able to hear their own heart. I want everybody to be able to be awake enough to understand truths. What's truth to you, true to you. If, if we are sleeping, if anyone is sleeping or numb due to chemicals or food that's making them sleepy or any, anything that's not natural, then they are not able to hear their own hearts and the whispers or shouts from the divine or truths that come their way. And so the biggest thing is to be um, waking ourselves up. And this is not a surprise to you guys that this is what I feel is the first thing. It's not the only thing, but it's the first thing that we need to do. So fresh, Fresh juice deliveries in Delray, yay! You are starting them? Please uh, let me know on Instagram so I can shout it out. And I'm happy to shout it out here. Uh, what is the name of the company? Um, if I were in Delray, you could believe that I'd be ordering 100%. And when I go, I will. Wonderful. So, I am be I'm aloof. <laughs> <laughs> Capricorns can be, I would say, above the fray. It doesn't mean we don't have opinions. I have many. Um, I'm also here to do what I do. So 
I don't know the Hawthorne Berry Powder Supplement. I have to look that up. I don't know it. It sounds good. Message me on Instagram. Follow me. Be with me on Instagram. Everybody, Dara Dubonet. Um, and we'll be together. Yeah, I'm here for the heart stuff, for sure. So I love you guys. This is what I do. This is what I'm meant to do. And we all need to find out what we're here to do and do it. And the world would be a better place if we eat like this. And we're doing, we're in our magic bubble. We're in our lane and we're shining. Uh, that could be the best thing that we can all do. Okay, that's fine. You don't need a company. You just need an email list. And um, I will tell some people that I know in Delray. So big hugs, everybody. Get your greens on. It's the way. <laughs> I've been saying it a long time. Nothing new here. Get your comfies out on and watch a fun flick and enjoy dinner. That sounds perfect. And I'm cheering whoever, I'm cheering everybody on for tomorrow and for love. Get your greens on. That was so cute. Thank you for that. I can hang up now. Oh, I have to show that. That was so cute. How you did that thing, son. Yeah, let's all operate with our hearts, follow our hearts, follow our North Node Dharma, and the world's going to be, we're going to, we got this, you guys. I will see you soon.